Today's Sunday, and as I promised in my other videos, I was gonna start my DIY journey. So it's October, I'm gonna do October, November, and probably most of December. I'm gonna do peels, I'm gonna do all kinds of things, microneedling, derma stamping, I'm gonna do my body and everything. I've been keeping up with my workouts, but a lot of you wanted me to start the DIY process and do the videos. So starting tonight, I'm gonna to do the deep, deep chemical peel. So you can still watch and still do it even if you don't have the recovery and downtime like I do. Like I go to hospitals every single day and I do a lot of stuff in public now and I can't really afford to look crazy, but I'm just gonna tell them ahead of time, hey, I'm walking in, I had a chemical peel, I'm good. People understand if you tell them, if you don't tell them, they wonder what the hell happened to you. So anyways, that's how I deal with it. And then I just put sunscreen with a little um, tinted moisturizer and I'm good to go. Tonight is the chemical peel. And then in two weeks, we'll do the derma rolling and derma stamping and microneedling. And then we're gonna go down to our bodies. There's a lot of us in our late 50s, 60s and beyond, even younger, that want to do things to our bodies to tighten them up and everything. The number one thing you can do is really is to work out and watch what you eat. But as you get older, let me remind you that you shouldn't be too skinny. You need that extra fat, you know? When I lost like 12, 13 pounds, I've gained it all back now, but I lost all the fat pads and I had just jowls and then, you know, it's now, and nowadays at our age, who cares? But if it matters to you, keep that good fat in your skin, your face, your bum, your arms and everything, and you'll be glad you did. So my next video, I will do the DIY chemical peel because I haven't done a chemical peel in a long time. So happy Sunday and I'll talk to you soon.